Well, Bradley has been stalling now for what seems like an eternity all the way through a commercial break. You know, Steve, we've been here through one commercial break. Can we go ahead and get on with this Southern title match? I'm a seasoned professional. I'm a seasoned veteran of the Memphis style, and I take my time. I'm a fluid wrestler. Well, we're running out of, we're running out of time here. He's fluent. Memphis style. Fluent. All right, Charlie Miller hoisting that belt high. It is for the Southern Heavyweight Championship. Referee uh, Charlie Miller is going to hand the belt over to Jason Sensation. He'll call for the bell. And it is time for this title match. Oh, no, it's not time for it. Oh, wait a minute now. It looks like Crush is going to go out after the Mopo. He's taking the fight right to him. I'm sure the people in the Memphis area remember Steve Bradley. He was the talk of the town when he was here, as you said, over a year ago. Oh, wait a minute. X kick. It's over early. No, it's not. And of course, the talk of Memphis over the last nine months has been the man known as K. Crush. And I'll agree with you. You've said it on many broadcasts. Oh, the most charismatic wrestler to come through the Memphis scene, except maybe for Steve Bradley. Oh, my. If Bradley covers Crush right now, we'll have a new champion instead. Slam center of the ring. Bradley chose to jaw with the crowd. Now the cover and the count. But Kate Crush kicks out a two. You know, the last time Steve Bradley was in town, he held gold. Oh, wow. But it wasn't the Southern heavyweight title. It was, I'm not even sure I should say it, it was the Power Pro heavyweight title. Well, the difference between the Power Pro heavyweight title and the Southern heavyweight title is the difference between, like, comparing the World Wrestling Federation Championship to say the title of WCW. Wow. There is no comparison. But Bradley, nonetheless, what a little conniver this guy is. He talks his way into a title match upon his return to Memphis. Neckbreaker. There is a cover and a count almost had him. The baddest mofo in Mempho. Said he had a bad case of rock fever down in Puerto Rico, the island, island territory of the United States, called by those who have competed there, called the rock because it is like a penitentiary. It's like Alcatraz, but it hardens you. It toughens you. And if you can survive in Puerto Rico, you can survive anywhere. There is a big clothesline, and the leg hooked once again. And K-Crush, so tough, so resilient. But have you ever seen K-Crush get off to this slow of a start? Well, Crush has been going through a grueling schedule here lately. Not just in the ring, defending his Southern title, also in the recording studio late nights with Road Dog. Does he want to wrestle or does he want to rap? Don't appear to be doing either. Uh -oh, right wait a minute. He's coming out down one more time. We'll have a new champion in the form of Steve Bradley. But wait a minute now. Crush now trying to get back to that vertical base. Extricates himself from the rear chin. And oh, Bradley cuts him right off. Bandana off. And wait a minute now. Going right after the throat. Well, you 
were right. When, oh, wait a minute, Bradley's caught! Two almost had him. Wow. Well, you said Bradley was hardened down in Puerto Rico, and I gotta agree. I remember when Bradley was in Memphis the last time, very talented wrestler. But this, like you said, is a totally different Steve Bradley. Now 20, I mean, think about it, just 23 years old. Steve Bradley, one of the hottest prospects in the World Wrestling Federation developmental system. The moonsault, nobody home. Okay, Crush now, trying to get back to his feet. Notice that trash can lid of Bradley's in the corner. What a backdrop. Bradley up in the rafters here in Manila, Arkansas. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Freight train in the corner. Okay, crush. Smelling victory. Running power slam. Oh, and somehow Bradley kicks out at two plus. Well, what we're seeing is a great battle between the top two talented athletes in Memphis Championship Wrestling and in the Memphis Territory right now. And oh! oh, no, referee Charlie Miller got caught up in that one. again and this time the leg dropped by Bradley opportunistic saw his opportunity and dropped the leg of King Crush across Charlie Miller who now is out for real. You gotta think Bradley has been scouting King Crush. He must have been watching some of his matches. He knew that was coming. Oh my! Crush Buster! Well he didn't know that one was coming until his face hit the mat and unfortunately referee Charlie Miller unable to count. By all rights, this match should be over, David Jett. Charlie Miller's still out of it. That's not stopping Crush. Well, Crush, you got to continue to fight. You got to go on with the match. Oh, leg drop off the top. Still no ref, but at what point? I mean, wow. he can pin him as often as he wants. There's no ref. There's no ref. Now, referee Charlie Miller. Wait a minute now. Look at Bradley. Bradley. Bradley's got that, that trash can lid. He's got that trash can lid. And now K. Crush is going to the top rope. Looking for the coup de grace. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the kneecap. He just kneecapped the champ. He just kneecapped him. And look at him going to work on him. Bradley has turned vicious. 